This Wellness Wednesday, we are talking about braces. You probably had them when you were a kid. I know I did. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of us wear them to fix crooked teeth, gaps, or even jaw difficulties. So this afternoon, Dr. Lon Clendenin is joining us to answer all of your questions when it comes to braces. He's an orthodontist over at Tulsa Braces and another location, too, in Bartlesville, titled Bartlesville Braces. Dr. Clendenin, welcome to The Four. Thank you. Happy to have you today. Glad to be here. Um, when should parents consider taking their kids kids and to maybe get braces? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, we want to see kids by age seven and even as early as age four. And I'd say it's not necessarily to get braces, but it's to plan and prepare or maybe even avoid, help avoid getting braces later. Early intervention is, is the key. So what would an appointment like that look like? Well, it's really easy. It's really just coming to get to know your orthodontist and letting me get to know you and your child. We'll take some simple uh, records, pictures, x-rays, and basically evaluate and start planning the best course of action for, for you or your child. Are there any pre-treatments or things you know we can do to be aware of before getting kids braces if it goes to that point? Really just see your dentist, go to your pediatric dentist, uh, get your child used to going to the dentist, and then when I, when I see you, you we're going to basically be preparing for the future and, and, and planning out the timing of the best timing to get braces. And of course not every child needs braces, correct? Of course, of course not, yeah. Okay, and then coming in as early as four, what would that do exactly? Because I feel like the teeth are still small right. at that point and yeah. growing. Yeah, so around age four, some things stop growing, like your tonsils and adenoids. And so the earlier we can kind of evaluate those things and, and the way you're sleeping and breathing uh, and that affects the way you grow and can ultimately affect your jaws and your teeth. And then jaw deformity, as I think we talked about, uh, we can have gaps in our teeth. Uh, what would something like that be? Because for me, when I had braces, it was because I had a huge gap between my two front teeth. Yeah. So obviously there's the cosmetic side of braces, right? We want a beautiful smile, but the functional side is just as important. So we want, we want not just your teeth, but your upper and lower jaw to fit together and uh, be balanced right and left. And so again, early, seeing kids early and, and planning that out and identifying some things that might cause major problems later, which if we see you early, sometimes are simply uh, a simple a, a simple referral back to your dentist for a simple procedure can avoid braces altogether. Oh, that's good to know. And then I've heard of aligners. What is the difference between that and then your good old braces? Yeah, so aligners are obviously uh, basically uh, highly engineered pieces of plastic custom to your mouth that, that move the teeth in a slightly different way, but similar to braces. Uh, you can take them in and out, which is nice, but it's also a problem with them. You can take them in and out. Um, but as far as the cosmetic side of things, having a clear plastic aligner is very popular and, and a, a great way to move teeth. Um, but also being able to take them out to brush and floss your teeth as normal is maybe the biggest advantage. Is that just kind of a preference that you leave up to each family to see if they want, or would you kind of recommend one over the other? Yeah, great question. Usually I will recommend one or the other, although a lot of people are a great candidate for either one. So really, uh, for my patients, it comes down to personality, and most parents know their kids very mm -hmm. well. It's like, oh, this child will do great with aligners and keeping track of it. This one, not so much. And then really quickly, where's your business located, Tulsa Braces? Yeah, absolutely, 45th and Harvard. Okay, Dr. Yeah. Clendenin, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. Brian, we'll send it back.